Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Sam. this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing my third ever movie review. We're doing Justice League. That's the name of the movie that just came out this weekend. Um, it was okay for me, but um, let's just go over the plot and all the stuff that happened in the movie, then I'll give my thoughts on it, and I got some thoughts on it. So basically, we start off with... Um, Batman, doing Batman work, <laughs> uh, trying to rescue, um, well, trying to bust a bad guy, basically, and then basically, and then he, um, apparently knows about the parademons coming in, coming in and trying to take over and stuff, or scouting at this point, and so he uses a robber as a, uh, as bait, basically, <laughs> And so, um, he goes trying to create a team, and basically, years ago, um, Sip and Wolf and his army of parademons, and they thrive on fear, I tend to conquer Earth, and to remake Earth through combined energies of the mother boxes. But they are uh, foiled by a unified army that included Amazons, and Atlanteans, and humans, and people from other Earths, such as the Green Lanterns. So after repelling, um, repelling the army, the mother boxes were separated and hidden in locations around the world. So um, we had that happening, and then we also have uh, people mourning the loss of Superman, to where um, people are busting up shops, like no one's business, and crime is just at all time high because he was like a beacon of hope and a beacon to bad guys to stay the f away, basically. And so, um, and then we. Uh, talk about, you know, um, Bruce Wayne trying to recruit um, uh, Aquaman, and then Diana wants to talk to Cyborg and stuff, but before we get into that, one thing that kind of was stupid was Robert's like, is that the aliens? I heard the aliens are coming into town or something. I was like, uh, really? And then Batman just leaves him there, like, take him to Freaking jail, please. That'd be great. So anyway, he meets up with Diana, and they she gets an overview of the story that um, about the parademons and Steppenwolf and all that type of stuff. And then we cut to where Bruce Wayne tries to recruit people. Um, like Aquaman, he goes to this um, town that um, up I, I, I want to say almost in the art. It's like super cold there, and basically he um, Aquaman helps bringing food, like fish and stuff, to the village because they're sort of broke. And so he's trying to help them out. And so um, at first Aquaman says, no, I'm not helping your ass. Bye. And then we have um, Diana talks to Bruce, and then they're trying to investigate um, Barry Allen and to recruit um, Victor, who is cyborg. So they go... Um, so Diana, well, first... Bruce Wayne literally just shows up at um, <laughs> Barry's uh, complex, well, I guess lair, I want to call it, and <laughs> right when he turns on the power, you ha he's, he says, hello, Barry, and then all of a sudden you have a uh, K-pop band going in the background, Blackpink, which I love that song, by the way, I love that song so much. Anyway, so they talk, and automatically Barry's automatically in, so I'll do it, okay. <laughs> And um, he's not yet working at CSI yet, but he's working to get into that to help his dad out, who fits his dad in jail. And then, um, then Diana talks to Victor face to face, and he at first doesn't want to help either because he feels he feels like a monster because of the tech that's on him, and he didn't ask for it. His dad just kind of did it, and then. Um, Anyway, so we go back to Steppenwolf manages to retrieve the mother box from Themyscira, prompting the Queen Hippolyta to warn her daughter about what's going on. So that's when she goes to Wayne, and that's when they start discussing stuff. And so, um, but they both fail. Adam, Adam, Arthur Curry and Victor Stone, which is Aquaman and Cyborg, they don't want to do it, but basically, okay, great. So then we cut to where, um, and then Stone later joins the group after his father's, um, Silas is among the, the people that were kidnapped, because 
people have been kidnapping people. The seven wolf attacks Atlantis to trade the second mother box. So that prompts um, Arthur Curry, Aquaman, to join the team. So the team receives intel from the Commissioner Gordon about the parademons are traveling underground. So they go to the area where that's located to abandon a facility. And so um, the group manages to rescue all the kidnappers, and then the Felicity, uh, the facility. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I watched it last night. And so the facility is flooded during the combat, which traps the team, but until um, Cyborg and Aquaman has um, uses Trident to block the water so they have enough time to escape with Cyborg taking over controls of the, the Nightcrawler. And they crawl up the building in some type of um, ro uh, robot machine that helps them climb up. So Cyborg took over and did that. So, um... Then, of course, they decide to join, especially since um, there's two mother boxes down and one to go. So Stone uh, re retrieves the last mother box from Star Labs in order for the group to analyze. Then Wayne decides to use the mother box to resurrect Superman, which is hella irrational, but they do it anyway, not only to help uh, fight Steppenwolf's army, but to also store hope in humanity. And Wonder Woman and... Aquaman are not happy about that there, <laughs> but he does it anyway and forms a secret contingency plan. So um, they dig up the body and then they revive it and then uh, goes batshit crazy on everybody. And <laughs> basically, Barry has to jumpstart the mother boss to resurrect um, Superman, so that's what they do. And then he get, um, awakes and goes crazy on everyone. And then um, they bring out the contingency plan and that is Lois Lane and so he um, basically, so basically what happens is he regains his memories and then he goes to um, then he comes down and leaves with Lois and to his family home where he finally starts to remember stuff and where he flex and tries to like I said remember things and the, with the and then someone else steps in and gets the box with ease and so all three of them are together so without Superman to aid them they go to Russia where Steppenwolf's plan is to unite the boxes once again to reshape the world for his nephew Darkseid or Darkseid Darkseid my, my joke <laughs> my, my bad so the team fights his way through the parademons to reach Steppenwolf, and they are unable to distract him enough for Stone to separate the boxes, Cyborg. And so, but Superman arrives just in time and assists Alan in evacuating the city by taking a whole apartment complex and taking them to safety where Barry just does a truck. Like a pickup truck. <laughs> then, um, then <laughs> I was kind of laughing at this point. It's like, yay, I did it. The was there. It's like, shit, really? <laughs> and then, um, and then the United, um, then everyone managed to defeat Steppenwolf, who was overcome with fear and is tapped by his own pair of demons before they all taken by a boom tube. And then, which is like a transportation system. That's how he was getting popping from place to place. And then after the of the battle, uh, Wayne decides to rebuild Wayne Manor and as a base of operations for the team. He and Diana agree that more heroes could join. Then Diana, as Wonder Woman, begins to engage more with the public, with um, the alien, with Alan. Then she's a job with the Central City Police Department, so he finally got the job, which is already in the TV show. Then um, Stone Computer continues to explore and enhance his ability with his father at Star Labs. Then, um, Aquaman returns to Atlantis, then Clark returns as, as a Daily Planet reporter and resumes his role as Superman. They have a mid credit scene where Flash and Superman decide to race, and then they have the post credit scene where Lex Luthor has escaped from prison and recruits bounty hunter Slade Wilson to form their own league. And that's the end of the movie. So, um, overall, I thought it was a decent movie. I didn't think it deserves a 29% but I do agree um, that it should be kind of lower 
is because it doesn't have a lot of color and I understand what they're going for. They're going for dark and dreary. Dreary said so that um, Superman, you know, is gone, so they want to have like a darker scent, a darker, a darker tone. But I feel like they overcorrected that too much. I had too much of it. And they could have used a little bit more uh, vibrant colors in there. I feel like that would have helped out a lot. And the plot was th was kind of thin. It was just mostly just like, okay, no, okay, I'll help. Wait, okay, I'm fine. Basically, that's how it felt like with uh, trying to recruit people. And I do like the element of Barry Allen. I feel like he does bring a whimsical and funny way into the team and they're trying to get a little bit lighthearted than the last movie where it's just all doom and gloom and all that type of stuff so at least that was good and I do like the interaction between Lois Lane and um, you know and Clark Kent Superman I feel like that was really good and then you know there's a little bit of flirtation between Diana Prince and, ben, uh, and Bruce Wayne and I, don't know, I just feel like the the um, Stephen Wolf. I feel like he could have died on a more extreme way and not eaten by or taken over by his minions. I mean, really, I know, that's just seemed kind of stupid to me. Uh, how he disappeared or died or whatever. And then um, I don't know. I feel like we would have seen like an appearance of Dark Side in the mid credit or post credit scene but I do like the post credit scene with Lex Luthor on Escape from Prison and trying to recruit Slade Wilson to form the own league I think that was really neat and then the Flash of Superman I feel like that was necessary because I think that's going to start off the Flash's movie where he's on the alternate earth I think so that will be interesting to see how that happens and I don't know overall I'll probably give this movie I didn't hate it but I didn't love it, so I'll just give it a B minus. I guess it was a, it was an alright movie, but I mean I feel like Wonder Woman was pretty much encapsulates a really good movie. I feel like that was A plus plus all right off the board. I mean that was an excellent movie. I have a review for that. Check for that in um, my movie review playlist because I'll be adding this one to it too. But overall, I think it was really good. It's just I don't know. I mean. It just wasn't as good as it could have been. I feel like they're just trying to play catch up with Marvel. So, cause here's the thing: I love Marvel movies and the TV shows, but I love the DC TV shows. I feel like they're really good as well. Um, but anyway, I think that's what I'm doing for this video. Um, like I said, I feel like it could add some more color in there and make it a little bit more vibrant, which they did towards the end of the movie. But I feel like it could have been placed more throughout the movie. But um, I do like. They're trying to transition from dark and gloom, gloom and doom and stuff to somewhat vibrant and somewhat hopeful colors. I don't understand what I'm saying right now. Anyway, that's how I felt, and I feel like um, overall, like I said, I think it was a B minus movie. I don't think it deserves a 29% or 38% or whatever. I think it deserves maybe a, I don't know, at least a 78% something. That's like a C. Anyway, uh, that's what I'm doing for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, and then subscribe. And yes, I was freaking reading the Wikipedia page. But uh, oh, and a couple of other things that was kind of stupid to me was, like I said, Batman leaving the robber on the roof. And the roof's like, like what about the aliens? I heard they're coming back and blah, blah, blah. I was like, that was not necessary. Diana or someone else could have said something about that. Anyway. That's what I did for this video. So if you like this video, please go to like, comment down below, and tell me what you think of the movie. Do you uh, did you like it? Did you hate it? What's what? What was the best part? What's the worst part? And let me know down below what you think. And then subscribe, please, because that would be most helpful. Bye, everybody.